we talked about type 1 compensator which is nothing but dominant pole or integral compensation uh, where we push the lc poles out of your egb by introducing an integrator in your loop and keeping the bandwidth very low or the integral gain is very low so this is only suitable for uh, slow system uh, the example was your battery charger so battery is charged the constant current so load is not variable some of the charges these days they have uh, they require uh, fast loop the reason is uh, sometimes your uh, charger shares the system load with the battery current so let's say you are charging the battery same times your system requires all of a sudden higher current and your charger is plugged in plugged in so your battery is uh, current may not be enough let's say battery is depleted then it will draw the current from the charger itself and uh, another advantage of doing that even let's say your battery is fully charged and uh, when your charger is plugged in instead of draining the battery you would like to draw the current directly from the charger so your battery charge will uh, remain it will not deplete actually so that's the advantage so uh, but if you talk about the old systems then uh, uh, it was good enough the slow loop with the constant okay then your led lights again requires constant current okay <coughs> so when you turn on it will just draw the fixed current turn off then the current will go to zero so there is no <coughs> fast changing load so it's uh, good enough for that so but most of our system let's say your uh, socs or your processors uh, their load is variable actually so depending upon uh, uh, how much activities are going on uh, your load may vary a lot or all of a sudden your one port part of the system is turned on uh, then it will start drawing a huge current so let's say uh, example of your phone uh, your phone i mean you are let's say watching some pictures or videos all of a sudden you start getting a call okay so the moment you start getting the call your uh, rf transceiver will start drawing higher current and uh, then uh, your load will change uh, so in that case uh, the slow loop is not enough and you want your uh, power supply to respond faster otherwise your voltage will will drop and it may go below your regulation uh, level and it may try even shut down your system so you don't want that to happen so what do we need to do in that case so so we need to increase the ugb means the lc pole will come inside ugb okay so uh, then what what we can do we can add zero you can add zero to cancel those poles and boost your phase around your ugb so that you get enough phase margin uh, just like you did in the case of ldo but in the ldo you had a real uh, uh, real poles and uh, two poles you were considering one was at the output of first stage and the uh, uh, and the output of second stage so it was more like a two stage op amp kind of thing but how many poles we have here so integrator by default we need okay because uh, we need a very high dc gain so 
other than integrator we have two more poles so we have three poles here okay so uh, which means we have to introduce at least how many zeros two zeros, two zeros because within ugb we can have only one pole so two pole we have to cancel so the next one is type 2 By the way, what do you understand uh, by this type, when I say type 1, type 2? So, there is a difference between type 2 or type 1, type 3 system and when you talk about compensator. When you say type 1, type 2, type 3 system, then you define by the number of integrators. Okay. So, just take the case of your PLL. In PLL, you have a type 1, type 2 PLL. So, in the type 2 PLL, you have two integrators. One is coming from your VCO other is coming from your charge form, okay, which you require. So, by default that is introducing, okay, because that is a clock, your clock generator and charge form you require with the loop filter in order to close your loop because you have to convert those uh, phases into voltage. So, charge form is required, but if you do not have a charge form then what do you do? You close the loop directly from the VCO output, then it becomes type 1, correct which means if you close the loop without your charge pump, then you are not comparing the phases, you are only locking the frequency. So, phase can is free to go anywhere and it becomes type 1. So, that is a difference between type 1, type 2. If you have a 2 integrator in the loop, nothing else, how many zeros you require? 1 zero. One zero. If you have a 3 integrators, how many zeros you require? 2. So, when I say type 2 compensation, which means what you require to compensate a type 2 system and type 2 system can be compensated with only one zero. Okay. So, that means type 2, when I say type 2 compensation, that means the system has only one zero, that is it. And this is also called PI stands for, so P stands for proportional and I stands for integral. Okay. So, integral we already know. integral is nothing but k i over s okay proportional is it should be a proportional of that means it's a constant term so i can call it kp there is no frequency term here So, if I want to write H of com, I will say 2 here, which means type 2 compensator. Okay. Kp plus Ki over S. Okay, and what is this? This is nothing but type 1. This type 1 compensator. Huh? So, all you did in the type 1 compensator, you added proportional term which is Kp or I will call it H com. I can write it S K P S plus K I and it can be written as K I over S 1 plus K P over K I S which can be simplified as K I over S into 
1 plus s over omega z. So, what is omega z here? K i y k p. So, this has one integrator and or one pole at origin and one zero. So, if I need to do the loop gain or body plot, not the loop gain, but just a compensator. So, H com. 2s magnitude how will it look like uh, line, straight line and then flat uh, like uh, what do you okay so this is and then so if let's say this is omega z what would happen flat your integrator will get cancelled out. What will be this? Okay. So, dc gain is infinite and you have the gain after the 0 appears will become k p and this k p can be changed by moving your proportional term and that will move your 0. So, the 0 at the lower frequency this k p will keep shifting up as you keep increasing the 0 frequency this gain will reduce. So, now you can adjust the gain by simply moving that 0 or moving your proportional term that is it. And if I do not have this uh, uh, 0 then what would happen this will continue okay. and this is nothing but your type 1. Okay, let me change the color so that let us make it red. And this will be what? Uh, that will be K i. this guy is where is the 0 k i by k p and this is so how can we implement this so you require integral integrator for sure what do we what extra term I need to add in the integrator to get this in parallel or in series. So, let us take the case of gm first. Plus minus this is your v in and this is your so I will call it rp I will call it ki sorry ci ci ok and if this is gm what is the transfer function v out by v in s equal to. So, your g m into r p plus 1 over ok. So, this becomes
So what is KP? Uh, GMR. GM? GMR. GMRP. And what is KI? GM by CI. GM by CI. So if I want to change the KP, what should I change? CI, uh, sorry, uh, GM or RP? Yeah, because you do not want to disturb your KI. Once you fix the KI, you just change the RP to get the different proportional gain. Okay. And if I want to find the 0 then, omega is equal to KI over GM by uh, this GM by sorry uh, gm by ci into uh, gmrp gm gm cancels out so you get 1 over rp ci which means gm will have no effect on 0 0 will remain same so in this if you change the gm the 0 will not change, but your gain will change. So, that may not help much in that case or it will not help at all actually. So, that is why when you want to change the proportional gain, you should change your RP. So, that you will 0 will move and Ki will remain same. So, you can get different gain. Okay. So, if I, I if I move the 0 at higher frequency, your gain will shift here. So, it will basically keep, it will follow the your integral curve and but simply the point will change. But if you change the gm, then what will happen? Your integral curve will also change. It will keep shift down or up depending upon whether you increase or decrease Okay, and your 0 will remain at the same point. But we want to independently change the proportional term so that you can only achieve by changing the R. And moreover, we want to have this 0 to appear uh, before your resonance happens, otherwise, you will not get any benefit of that. Huh? So, you can uh, place this 0 according to your RP.